When disaster strikes, we've seen time and time again that Southern Californians are so eager to volunteer and to help. I was at one such place tonight, and it was amazing to see what was going on there. And also, I'm going to tell you about a local high school football team and what they were doing off the football field to help others. We need help. We desperately need help. We need more resources. We need more resources because we're doing as much as we can, but if people don't step up and help us, we're going to lose more people and we can't afford that. It's stories like that one prompting an outpouring of aid to victims of Lahaina's devastating fire. Monday at Longshore Memorial Hall in Wilmington, members of the International Longshore and Warehouse Union packed more than a dozen trailers of essentials like diapers, baby wipes, and camping equipment to send to fire refugees desperate for help. Union leaders put out the distress call for their union members on the island and other refugees. It was overwhelming. We sent out, you know, social media messages to our membership, text blasts to our members. We have 9,000 members here in the San Pedro Harbor, Long Beach, and L.A., and members were coming in all week, carloads. We Monday late afternoon, we found union members who do the tough work on the docks and in the warehouses, taking a brief break from their arduous Maui relief efforts, but gratified nonetheless. Spiritually, I am good, okay. <laughs> but I am tired. It's not something we could just sit down and just watch happen. The mana was strong. The spirit was strong. The Aloha spirit was very strong. There was so much love. Thank you for all the donors, all the supplies that we have gotten. A few miles away, another trailer with supplies. This relief effort organized by one of the coaches of the Edison High School varsity football team in Huntington Beach. Edison was supposed to be playing two preseason games on Maui this week, one of them in Lahaina. The tragedy changed that. The Edison Chargers are known for their athletic moves on the field, but when they heard the terrible news, they sprang into action to help Lahaina. Our team, the staff, the coaches, they is much, much bigger than football. Uh, so I decided to set up shop at uh, Edison High School um, and just be like a sub hub for the supplies. It's awesome. We kind of narrowed down supplies and uh, we're able to fill up an entire full U-Haul with everything. The union telling me that those items should ship out no later than Friday of this week. They expect that they will actually get to Hawaii in four to five days, depending on the weather. But whomever I talked to tonight, they all had that aloha spirit. They wanted to help those on Maui. Laura Diaz reporting live from San Pedro. Now back to the studio. Alex and Christine.